Mm -hmm. Um, Next up was Jalen Rager. Kind of surprisingly, they pass on Justin Jefferson. So clearly they, they had something in mind when you had someone, you know, pretty different profiles. Last year, no wide receiver on that team topped 500 yards. 6.5 yards per attempt when targeted wide receivers was dead last in the NFL, as was 42% wide receiver target share. Uh, so, I mean, they clearly had a big need, and they go out, and this is the one they, they choose. So why? what do you think was driving that choice, and what do you think he's going to be bringing to this offense? I think when everybody looked at Philly last season, they saw a group of pass catchers, tight ends included, with Ertz and Goddard, that struggled to separate, you know, like whether it was Alshon, whether it was JJ Ortega Whiteside, the two tight ends, like it was just, it was a bunch of guys who didn't really know how to separate. And that's not what Philly wants. That may be why all of us pegged Justin Jefferson as like a great spot for them because Justin Jefferson is a great route runner. He's a great natural separator. He can do that kinds of stuff. He's a slot player who I know pro football focus had him very high. He might've been their highest slot graded player or was it tyler johnson one of the two i know jefferson was up there either way he's a guy that he really knows how to separate no matter what route he's running or no matter what alignment he's in so a lot of people said like oh okay that's what philly needs what philly wants is to be dynamic like Mm. they want to be able to get the ball into speed players hands that's why they brought back Deshaun jackson that's why they still have him sticking around that's why they drafted john hightower in the later rounds and of course that's also why they drafted jalen rager uh they want to be able to get the ball in his hands and let magic happen right they want to be getting it to him early and often the same thing with sean jackson that's really what they want so i think that when we watched the eagles struggle last year we looked at their struggles and we said okay based off of their struggles last season here's the type of wide receiver that they would go for and that's why Mm -hmm. we pegged him for justin jefferson in reality it seems like the Eagles and their coaching staff went, we're taking this year, we're balling it up, we're throwing it away. Like, it's a, it, it, they want it to be an anomaly. They want the, the, in, the unfortunate injuries that happened throughout that team, they don't even, like, that's not even what they were trying to be. And so the struggles that we saw from last season, I don't even think was ever really, like, in the cards for them. Like, they didn't even mm-hmm. want to look like that. So they weren't going to take the weaknesses of an identity that they had last year that they never even wanted to be as a reason to to formulate a draft strategy. Instead, they just wanted to get faster. They wanted to get more dynamic. And Jalen Rager is a guy who you can get the ball to him in bubble screens, on quick slants, mesh routes across the middle, things like that. And you could just watch him work because he is so fast and he's kind of a complete receiver in that regard. He can stretch the field as well with his deep speed. So that's why I think they went with Jalen Rager as opposed to a Justin Jefferson. And look, if we get a, a healthy Carson Wentz and then uh, a, a good offensive line in front yeah. of him, which Philly has been able to do over the last couple of years, and they stay healthy, which is the important part, I still think this has the chance to be one of the best offenses in the NFL. I think that that makes all total sense. I mean, you look at the last time they had like a genuine. It, it, I love the, just the take that it's you know yes he's a great fit himself, but also how much he elevates everyone else. You know, Justin Jefferson, a great talent, but might not have opened it up so well for the entire offense. You look sure. just a few seasons ago when they you know Tory Smith was their their lid lifter. They haven't had like a lid lifter, and Tory Smith is nothing that special. But that's when Carson Wentz was on that just insane MVP style pace. Just a couple seasons ago, 33 touchdowns in only 13 games. I mean, he was lighting it up. So just the way this whole offense could look and, and operate at a completely different level. I mean, all the quotes from the GM since then have been, we want to take more vertical shots. We need to have right. that speed on the field. Like, I, I do think I'm totally in agreement that it's going to be a much different offense. And the fact that Carson Wentz was the QB9 with just this kind of, you know, slow, you know, ho-hum, no separation. Again, no wide receiver getting over 500 yards and still quarterback nine I mean his ceiling is also insane and the, the path to playing time for Rager is pretty open you know Goodwin's now opted out yeah. right like he's opted out Alshon Jeffrey is probably going to start in the PUP so I mean who else is really in his way obviously Deshaun Jackson maybe JJ but like I don't know it, it seems to me like he's got a very clear path so I love the fit and I love like you again emphasize what it does to this whole offense it, it's going to be awesome to watch what is up you fantasy wolf thanks so much for tuning in you haven't already share your thoughts in the comments check out some more videos and join the newest wolf pack by subscribing below